Hi, gorgeous soul. Welcome to your weekly astrology. Now, at the tail end of last week, you may have felt a sense of shame, a sense of embarrassment, a sense of, oh my goodness, all my fears from the past have risen up to meet me. You know, it was pretty tough times, but Pluto was kicking us up the arse just before he goes direct this week and brings us liberation. Here's your weekly astrology. <laughs> Hey, my warrior Capricorn. I know you have been having it a bit rough recently and we're at the, you know, the peak of that is gone, fingers crossed. Pluto, the Lord of Transformation in your sign has been going retrograde, kind of bringing up the past, bringing up a bit of self-doubt uh, and all that jazz. But now, next week, or sorry, this week, am I talking about? <laughs> this week, on the third UK time, Pluto goes direct. It's gonna take a little while for it to kick in, but you should feel the mists rising. You should feel a oh, sense of relief and you're getting ready to keep that process of transformation going. You know, you're feeling less intense. You may have suddenly been thinking about ex-lovers or you might have like been sort of having temptations to do naughty things. There may have been just maybe all that shame and fear I was talking about rising up and kind of, you know, freaking you out. But hopefully you've processed those emotions, you're walking in self-love, you're, you're loving yourself enough to heal yourself now, and then Pluto going direct is bringing about more positive change and you realizing your power. In other great news, all right, this would be a good week for you. Uh, we have Mercury shifting signs, but going into a powerful place for you, all about publishing, networking, socializing, friendships, teamwork, but finding the right people. You know, feeling secure in yourself because you're surrounded by that kind of support system. And if you don't have that, go out and seek that support system. Try and connect with the people that you want to connect with that can help you go to the next level. You know, the love is out there for you. Now is the time to do that. You've got the right thing to say and the right thing to push. Mars is also shifting sign and it's going into similar vibe to you. It's about your career and your reputation. So you have the strength, you have the power, and you have the kind of force to go forward. Do be a bit careful, because if you, somebody is pissing you off at work, you might find yourself losing your temper. I would say don't do, don't do that, obviously. Uh, try and sort of channel your energy into getting on with what you can do. And if you have to deal with somebody that's annoying you or trespassing your boundaries, then I would seek help from someone else to Deal with that situation so you don't lose your temper. Let's see what the tower has to say. If you're not into tarot, turn off now. Don't leave me boring comments about our tarot is rubbish. That's your opinion. Great, I still love you. I'll see you next week for the astrology. Now, if you are into tarot, let's go, go, go. Okay, I'm shuffling the cards, Capricorn. Let's see what's in store for you this week. But it's looking good, feeling the good vibes. Capricorn. Okay, Capricorn, the first card, the Fool. You are, this is great, because this is the energy sort of really is backed up by the astrology. It's time to have a new start, to leap in, to take a risk, to get out there and, and to try something new, you know, to connect, to, to take a leap of faith. Look, my favourite card in the whole deck, by the way. Um, you may be dealing with somebody with really interesting ideas, but maybe, you know, they're a little bit aggressive in the way that they push them. But, you know, if, if you're feeling that your ideas are, are young and, and you haven't worked them out and if somebody challenges you, you get annoyed, you don't. You know, have faith. Keep going. You have the power. Ace of Wands, baby. This is an ace and you've had the fall. So, you know, anybody that you're dealing with that maybe is being childish, you don't need to go down to that level. You are full of fire. You are full of creative juices. You are full of passion. And that will lead you forward along with the fall. These are great cards. Yes, you know, I actually, a lot of the other signs I've done so far, I've got this card. I think we're all grieving and a little bit exhausted from the uh, Pluto kick up the bum we've had. So take time out when you need to. Go forward, use that energy externally, you know, put your thoughts into action. But when you need to sleep, sleep. When you need to look after yourself, look after yourself. Don't feel that you have to be relentless in what you're doing. You've also got the Ace of Swords. You could triumph this week, but it's about balancing your energy and also, I have to say, balancing your temper so that you're using the passion for a force of good 
but look out for uh, the opportunity to increase your abundance. Look at that. You just got the Ace of Cups. You've got three Aces and the Fool. You know, in the poker game of life, energetically, boom, you've won the jackpot. So, you know, I would say that something fabulous is on its way to you, Capricorn, this week. I mean, obviously not for all of you, but tune in. Do you think it's you that's going to get this jackpot of fabulousness? You've got the emotional outpouring of love. You've got the Ace of Swords cutting through the crap, getting abundance. And you've got that Ace of Wands, which is fire and passion and drive and spirit. And the Fool, you know, leaping into the new. So I don't, I don't I'm, should I put another card? Oh, well, I've done it anyway. Judgment. So you're at a crossroads. Take all of those energies and hurl yourself into your destiny. Don't hold back. Take care, gorgeous soul, and I'll speak to you soon. Come visit me on Instagram, at Michelle Knight, Michelle with one L. Take care. Hello, wonderful one. Thank you so much for listening. It would be fabulous if you liked, subscribed, or shared. It would be really, really helpful. Also, I have a ton of free stuff for you. Horoscope.co.uk for everything astrology and michellenight.com for everything psychic and free tarot reading. See you there.